Lighting in video games plays a crucial role in creating immersive, beautiful, and believable environments. Without good lighting, even the most detailed models and textures can look flat or unrealistic. In Unreal Engine 5, a new lighting feature called Mega Lights has been introduced to make lighting both more powerful and more efficient, especially for modern gaming hardware. While the concept sounds complex, let's go ahead and break it down step by step. So even if you're completely new to Unreal Engine, you'll be able to understand what Mega Lights are, why they're important, and how to use them. So at its core, Mega Lights is a new system for handling dynamic lighting. In Unreal Engine, dynamic lighting means lights that can change in real time as the game runs. So for example, imagine this torch flickering on the wall, or car headlights, moving as a vehicle turns. Additional lighting systems in Unreal Engine can be expensive for your computers to process, especially when you have too many lights in your scene. Megalights makes it possible to use a lot more lights without overwhelming your system. Megalights are particularly designed for modern hardware, such as PlayStation 5, Xbox X, S series, and high-end PCs. They use a technique called ray tracing to calculate shadows and lighting more accurately. You might know it as a way to create lifelike reflections and lighting in games. With Megalights, this technology is used to create realistic shadows and lighting effects while keeping performance in mind. So why is Megalights exciting? Traditionally, when game developers wanted to light a scene, they had to make trade-offs between quality and performance. For example, adding more lights would slow down the game. Shadows from lights required additional calculations, making things even slower. Certain types of lights, like area lights, were too expensive to use in large numbers. With mega lights, developers can place many more lights in their scenes without slowing things down significantly. Not only that, but these lights can cast realistic shadows that look soft and natural, like the way light behaves in the real world, work well with features like volumetric fog, which creates atmospheric effects like mist and haze, support more advanced light types, like textured area lights, which can project images or patterns. In simple terms, Mega Lights gives you the freedom to make your game look stunning without worrying as much about your game slowing down. So let's go ahead and talk about how it works. In a regular lighting system, each light in your scene is treated individually. The engine calculates the light's effects on the object around it, one light at a time. This works well when you have only a few lights. But as the number of lights increase, these calculations quickly add up, making your game run slower. Megalights works differently. Instead of treating each light separately, it uses a system called stochastic direct lighting. This is a fancy way of saying it picks the most important lights for each part of the scene and calculates their effects together. Here's an analogy to help you understand. Imagine you're in a dark room with 10 flashlights. If you focus on all 10 flashlights at once, it can be overwhelming. Instead, you look at the ones that are shining directly on you or the area you're most interested in. Megalights does something similar. It focuses on the lights that matter most for each object or pixel in your scene, saving time and resources. This technique also uses ray tracing, which sends out rays from the camera to figure out how light travels and interacts with objects. For example, if a ray hits a wall, it calculates how light reflects or creates shadows on that surface. It's like the game engine is simulating real-world physics to make everything look more natural. So if you want to try Megalights in Unreal Engine, you need to enable it first. So head over to your project settings, under rendering, look for direct lighting, and enable Megalights. Unreal Engine will prompt you to enable hardware ray tracing, which is recommended for Megalights to work at its best. Once you've enabled it, any lights you place in your scene will automatically use Megalight system. Once you've enabled it, any lights you place in your scene will automatically use the mega light system. If you want, you can even adjust settings for individual lights, like whether they should use mega lights or fall back on the regular lighting system. So now that we understand what mega lights are and how they work, let's talk about one of their most impressive features, shadows. Shadows are crucial in making lighting look realistic because they show how much light interacts with objects and creates depth in scenes. Megalights handle shadows differently compared to older systems. This is what sets it apart. In traditional lighting systems, shadows are created using techniques like shadow maps or ray trace shadows. These methods have their strengths, but they can either be too costly for performance or not flexible enough for complex scenes. Megalights introduces a more unified approach to shadow creation that's both efficient and flexible. So ray tracing is the default method for megalights. It simulates how light travels and interacts with objects in your scene. Ray tracing produces soft shadows that look more realistic, especially for a larger light sources like a window or a street lamp. So for example, the shadow from a desk lamp will appear softer and blurrier the farther it is from the object it's lighting, just like in real life. 
The virtual shadow maps method uses a pre-computed shadow map to calculate shadows. It's faster for certain scenarios and works well with nanite meshes, which are ultra-detailed geometry used in Unreal Engine 5. However, virtual shadow maps are less precise when it comes to replicating soft shadows. Because of the extra performance cost, virtual shadow maps are recommended only for very specific cases, like when you need detailed shadows for small objects. The beauty of megalites is that you can choose which method to use for each light in your scene. For example, you might use ray tracing for large soft shadows from the sun, and virtual shadow maps for smaller detailed lights like a flashlight. When working with megalites, there are a few things to keep in mind to ensure that your shadows look good without causing performance issue. First, Avoid placing lights inside walls or other geometry. Lights in strange positions will waste resources and may cause noise or ghosting in your scene. Instead of using many small lights, try combining them into a single area light. For example, when you're lighting a chandelier, you can replace multiple point lights with a single area light that covers the entire fixture. You can customize the shadow range and softness for each light to ensure they're only affecting the parts of the scene that matter. Narrowing the range can improve performance and reduce noise. Use the debug tools. Unreal Engine provides tools to help you understand how megalites are calculating shadows. Use r.megalites.debug1 to visualize where rays are being sent from a light. Use r.shaderprint.lock1 to freeze the scene and inspect how rays are interacting with objects. By carefully placing lights and optimizing their settings, you can achieve beautiful shadows without sacrificing performance. One of the biggest reasons developers are excited about megalites is how it balances quality and performance. In older systems, the more lights and shadows you added to a scene, the slower your game would run. Megalites changes this by offering constant performance overhead. Here's what that means. So constant performance means the cost of megalites stays about the same no matter how many lights you add. However, the quality of lighting might decrease if you add too many complex lights, as the system has to spread its resources thinner. Megalites uses efficient sampling, which is a clever technique to focus its calculations on the lights that matter the most for each pixel. This means that lights that are farther away are less visible and will get less attention, saving processing power for the lights that are directly affecting your scene. To put it simply, megalites allow you to use more lights and better shadows without overwhelming your hardware. Megalites also work seamlessly with features like volumetric fog, which adds atmosphere to your game. Imagine a foggy forest where light rays cut through the mist or a dimly lit dungeon with hazy air around torches. Megalites calculates how light interacts with the fog, creating realistic effects that add depth and immersion to your scenes. Although Megalites sounds too good to be true, there still are some limitations in its current state. So currently there is no directional light support. Megalites doesn't yet work with the sunlight directional light type, so you will need to use other methods for outdoor environments. Megalites also struggles with transparent materials like glass or water. For now, these materials fall back to the older lighting systems. And Megalites also requires modern hardware, like ray tracing enabled GPUs, to work effectively. It won't run on older consoles or low end PCs. These limitations mean Megalites is best suited for indoor or localized lighting setups where it can truly shine. It works alongside several other powerful tools in Unreal Engine 5. Understanding how these systems interact can help you create even more stunning visuals. One of the most exciting features to combine with Megalites is Lumen, Unreal Engine's real time global illumination and reflection system. Lumen is designed to simulate how light bounces off surfaces and interacts with your environment, creating realistic indirect lighting and reflections. While Megalites focuses on direct lighting, light sources directly illuminating objects and creating shadows, Lumen handles indirect lighting, light bouncing around the scene. For example, a bright light shining on a red wall will cause the wall to reflect some of the red light onto nearby objects. This is an example of indirect lighting, which Lumen calculates. Megalites calculates the direct beam of light hitting the wall and the shadows it casts. By using both Megalites and Lumen together, you can achieve a complete lighting solution. Megalites is a revolutionary system in Unreal Engine 5 that allows developers to create realistic, dynamic lightings with better performance than ever before. By using advanced techniques like ray tracing and stochastic sampling, Megalites makes it possible to add more lights and shadows to your scene without slowing down your game. While it might seem intimidating at first, Megalites is designed to make lighting more accessible to developers of all skill levels. By combining it with features like Lumen and following best practices for light placement and optimization, you can create visually stunning environments that bring your games to life. As you experiment with Megalites, remember to take it step by step, start small, use the debug tools, and gradually refine your lighting setup. With practice, you'll be able to harness the full power of this incredible system to create breathtaking scenes in Unreal Engine 5.
Thanks for watching Curtis Row. If you want to help support my channel, my Patreon is in the description below. Thanks for watching the video and let me know what you want to see next.